Peyton Barber. Um, we're going to SB 252. How you guys doing today? Welcome to SB 252. Please make sure you like this video, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification button to make sure you're notified every time I post a new video. So it's good to see you guys again today. And of course, we're going to talk about the NBA. And just yesterday, the NBA came out with a new rule as regards to tanking. And no longer is the NBA going to allow tanking to occur. Well, to a degree. I mean, I guess they can't stop it completely because they've had enough. They've seen enough of the Philadelphia 76ers and their tanking skills within the last couple of years. But quite frankly, the NFL NBA is a little bit too late. I mean, the 76ers already got Ben Simmons. They already got Markel Fultz. They already got a good team together. And now, I mean, they're just now doing something about tanking. I mean, the city of Philadelphia has been robbed of some good basketball for the last couple of years. And the whole NBA has had to have just such a terrible team, a bad omen over the city and over the whole NBA because of this one team. Because they choose not to compete every single year so they can try to get the top pick. But not no more. Nobody can really do that no more. Because back then, in the old system of the lottery, what they would do is that the worst team in the NBA had the highest percentage chance of receiving the number one overall pick. But now, the rules have changed just yesterday that the top three teams will have the same amount of percent of a chance in order to get the top pick, which is now 14%. And also the top three teams have 40% chance of getting the of getting just the top overall pick of the top three picks. So, I mean, this is a good change for the NBA because we have all gotten sick of just watching the 76ers just lay back every year. It's bad for the NBA. It's bad for ticket sales in Philadelphia. And it's bad for Philadelphia basketball. It's a bad look for the whole city. So, it's a good move. But that's not the only move the NBA made. The NBA has been having problems with teams resting their players. Just like San Antonio. I mean, Greg Popovich has been resting his players for years. And, I mean, Cleveland has done it. LeBron James has rest, even though he's healthy. And that's also not good for the NBA and ticket sales as well. So, they, I guess now they've decided just to, to end that. Now they're just going to start fining players up to the commissioner's discretion, Adam Silver, up to $100,000 to teams that choose to rest healthy healthy players. So we'll see how that goes. That could end up becoming bad. I hope the NBA doesn't come like the NFL where they become, in a sense, communistic. But we'll see. We'll see if Adam Silver is honest and he actually, you know, makes the right decisions and whether or not teams should be fined for resting healthy players or not. So... Those are the new rules in the NBA. I'm for both rules overall. But I appreciate you guys coming through again today. And you guys have a great day. Peace.